I kept hoping the law would show up and give me a hand. Man, like that giant Pinkerton posse that I read about. Did they come riding in? Guns a-blazing to help? Help? From the Pinkertons? No, son. I had to fight the Wild Bunch all by my lonesome. As usual. Who the hell is that? didn't portray this as it happened, did they? Only a few stragglers were left, and I had to cut them down pronto if I was going to stay on old Bob's trail. Once I silenced all those guns, I went searching for my nemesis, determined to finally have my justice. But the only survivor who welcomed me was George Flatnose Curry. Who was he? The fastest gun in the gang. Right after Sundance, I mean. And Kid Curry, and maybe Elsie Lay. Though some folks might dispute that. Very same day, Butch Cassidy and the Sundance Kid decided to leave the Wild Bunch behind and decamp for South America. They ended up living down there for many years, but I'm sure you already know all about that. I tried to find Bob Bryant, but it was as if he'd disappeared. Sometime later, I heard the Wild Bunch was back together. Kid Curry escaped from jail, and now he was running the whole shebang. So I took to their trail, as I was still in pursuit of my brother's killer and hoped that he was back with them. Kid Curry's kinda crazy, ain't he? Don't let him hear you saying that. <laughs> 
Anyways, I tracked those boys to a camp right outside Parachute, Colorado. <sighs> Number I didn't bother with a warning shot. I just started taking those bastards down. Somebody really pissed this up. Old Bob wasn't among them, neither was Pete Curry. I could sense him close by, however, plotting something nasty. I just needed a clue as to their whereabouts. found one. A map with their bold plan clearly marked. This time they were fixing to blow up a train trestle. Property of the Union Pacific. The plan clearly indicated how they were fixing to undermine several of the weakest wooden supports. Kid Curry was considered the wildest of the wild bunch. It was said that he fathered 85 bastard children. Though some say it was only five. <clears throat> Kid Curry had bragged to a whore how he was gonna rob a train heading to the U.S. Mint in Denver. And that whore, Fat Sally, she told me. The bridge was rigged with dynamite. So I decided I'd best be careful confronting those bastards. A moment later, I saw a ladder that somehow had escaped my attention. Don't you blow us up now. Don't worry, I know what I'm doing. But the Wild Bunch did not take kindly to my presence and attempted to blow my head off. It appeared the kid had found a number of new recruits to bolster their ranks. Guess there's always desperate men willing to trade their lives for stolen treasure. What happened next? Well, having removed the first bundle of dynamite, I decided I might as well remove the other one. Once that was done, I figured I'd find my way from there. Then. Had to remove more of that damn dynamite. It must have been terrifying trying to make your way across. I was sweating it a bit, but then I noticed a footbridge tied up on high, so I shot the rope. The dynamite? 
Funny you should mention that, darling. As actually, there was a fourth charge impeding my progress. Once I removed it, my path was pretty clear. proceeded onward and realized that that way just wasn't going to work. I needed an alternate path forward. Luckily, I found a cave, and as I made my way back to the bridge, I saw something that concerned me. It was a long, burning fuse, and it was moving fast as hell. I had to catch it. The burning fuse was so damn quick, I had to run like the wind. I almost had it, but no! Thought I was gonna have a coronary when I lost sight of those sparks. I knew that failure meant boom. Then, finally, at the last moment. Whew. Of course, I was successful, or clearly I wouldn't be talking to you folks here today. Naturally, I removed the last dynamite charge. Well, it was a touching reunion. But by this time, I was thoroughly exhausted and dragging my ass as I was not a young man anymore. I hope you understand how badly my adventure might have ended had I not been as careful as hell. Precisely, they found me. Hey, Scracer, get curious! 